Are you looking for a powerful trading strategy? Of course, that's why you click on this video. What I'm about to share with you now is so incredible and easy to learn when you open your mind to it. Make sure you don't tell anyone, of course, and just kidding. This is UCFX. Welcome back to my channel. This channel is all about helping forex traders get acquainted with the necessary information and knowledge on how to become profitable in the forex market. So if this is you interested in contents like this, do well to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification icon to actually get notified anytime we upload new videos. And don't forget to drop in the comment section any topics that you would like us to make videos on. I'll do my best to do those videos concerning the topics. So without further ado, let's get started. This strategy focuses on using the Asian highs and the Asian lows to determine where your price would go next. Just like we all know, we have our three sessions in the forex market, so the London session, the New York session, and the Asian session. So the Asian session is actually the consolidation period of the forex market. So before uh, it's reset for the next day, yeah. So there is no volatility, so I personally don't like trading it. And then I would advise you as well not to trade it. Then why? Practically, uh, you can easily be taken down to, uh, with large spreads and eventually liquidated uh, before the market starts to move. So for you to start uh, trading before the London session starts, you need to make mark out your your origin section highs and lows. Yeah. So because this would uh, be used by the smart money to manipulate price. How? Look at this uh, sketch that I'm about to show you and uh, let's illustrate it. Let's illustrate uh, this concept with it before we go on the real chart for our examples. So, um, looking at this sketch, so after price uh, types into your supply zone or your order block, let's say price ends like this for the day, giving us this uh, sharp uh, pullback. So, what we do next. We need to wait for the Asian section to come up. So when does this Asian session actually come up? For my time zone, my Asian session starts around um, 12 in the midnight. That's 12 a.m. And my time zone is actually GMT plus one. So you could check out your own. So you need to wait, wait for the Asian session to, to happen. So what happens during the Asian session? You see price consolidation. Price would move up, um, move up, come down, then move up, come down. Practically uh, consolidating, and um, most or uh, less informed traders would um, uh, start placing their sell orders each time this uh, market or this price uh, moves down. So they start um, placing their orders, their sell orders, and just like uh, on the other position, the other uh, traders will start placing their buy orders, thinking that uh, the market will start moving up from this uh, area. So there is basically liquidity above this uh, range. Yeah? So there is basically liquidity above this range, and this and the smart money would not actually ignore this. So what they would do is... um. Exactly, um, starting from the the London Open, we start noticing stuff like this. You will first of all take out the uh, those that are on the, uh, on the sell side or the buy side, depending on where they will actually want to move the price to. So let's say they will take out these highs first. So basically, those that are actually selling have their stop loss inside these areas, and those that are buying have their stop loss below these areas. So they will drive price through this area taking out the stops of um, those that are sold in this area. Then after that, most uh, traders would as well think that, oh, this is actually um, kind of a breakout. You know, to continue moving to the upside, not knowing as well that the market is actually trying to uh, reset for the day. So what this moment will do again, they will actually come back, take out uh, these lows, these Asian lows, Taking out the the buy uh, the stop loss of those that are actually buying, then after taking that out, uh, they will come back to mitigate or tap into this uh, level. 
that this uh, liquidity uh, purge started, they will come back to it, tap into this level for continue to move in their intended direction. So before you come to the chart, you need to, first of all, mark out your Asian highs and Asian lows and wait for this kind of um, uh, liquidity to be grabbed. Basically, before uh, the market moves, there must be a grab of either side of um, the Asian range. So it happens more often and you can use it to uh, get your, uh, you know, set your trading for the day. So we're going to be looking at uh, the real chart to get more on understanding of how this actually works. So yeah, so here we are on, uh, on the real chart. So I'm going to be breaking on this setup that actually happened on, on the early weeks of August. So I'm going to be breaking it down uh, using this uh, Asian section of uh, liquidity. So let's up on the 15 minutes time frame. So 15 minutes time frame is actually the time frame that you're going to be seeing this uh, consolidation uh, clearly. So let's up on to the 15 minutes time frame. So here on the 15 minutes time frame, after a tap of uh, price into uh, this uh, order block, so the price, uh, the market actually ended for the day uh, in this area. So basically our Asian section starts from, um, uh, from my own time, just like I said, it starts from 00 last, actually 12 a.m. Uh, in the midnight. So my, my time zone is actually uh, GMT plus one. So check out your own time zone and know where this uh, Asian section actually falls on. So my own Asian section is actually um, 12 midnight, just like I said. So before you start placing your trades for, for the London section or for the next day, you need to consider the Asian lows and the Asian highs, just like I said, in anticipation of price to you know, continue moving in your direction or your intended direction, just like we have here, we are expecting or anticipating a bearish movement after it's happened to this or other block. So here we have our Asian star. Is there our Asian started from this place from 12th, 12 midnight. So this is our Asian session. I know uh, before the Asian session, two hours before the Asian session is actually the, the Sydney. So we are not actually counting that. So then our Asian session ends um, at eight in the morning. So here our Asian session ends. So you need to mark out your Asian highs and uh, your Asian lows before you start taking your trades uh, the next day. So let's do that. So here we have our Asian lows here. Yeah. So you're gonna agree with me that we have our Asian lows here. Then we have our Asian highs here. So and then we have our Asian highs here. So this is our Asian highs and Asian lows. So what you're going to be doing, need to consider these two, these two things. So just like I said, uh, there is actually liquidity build up above the Asian highs and the Asian lows. So here in the Asian uh, highs, immediately price moves down, moves down, moves down. Uh, some traders uh, started pressing their sell entries or sell orders. And leaving their stop loss above uh, these areas and th in the same way uh traders on the opposite side start placing their buy orders you know uh putting their stop loss below this so so basically we have a uh, liquidity here and liquidity here so let's identify that so we have our liquidity above our asian high and above our asian lows so what do you then wait for? You need to wait for price to actually take out this uh, liquidity. As you can see, 
uh, immediately during uh, the London uh, session, I wanna want you to actually see this green candle. So immediately during eight, that's the London session for my own time. You can see a purge of liquidity taking out this um, Asian highs. So practically, uh, most traders would as well, you know, most breakout traders would as well start taking uh, buy orders. And as well, traders that actually took short will start um, uh, being taken out, you know, stop hunt and all those stuff. And after that, price moved down, taking out Asian lows. So on the other hand, those that actually on the buy are stop hunted. They actually taken out uh, from this trade because their stop loss are inside this area. So there is tons of uh, uh, sell stops and buy stops on opposite sides of uh, the Asian range. So we have grabbed liquidity from the uh, up, then we grab liquidity from down. So where you now need to focus on is uh, the points that uh, this liquidity or started from. So if you go down to, let's say, to the five minutes time frame, you will see the other block that actually took out uh, this uh, liquidity. So let's go down to the five minutes time frame. So here we are on the five minutes time frame. Like, let's try to look at that. Yeah. So here are the five minutes time frame. Yeah, this nicely uh spotted. So we have this uh green little green candle that actually took out uh, this uh liquidity. So this is where you need to start focusing and taking your entries from, because after a liquidity purge, uh, there is a um, Still, uh, some others that is normally actually still have inside this area that they need to come out and close if you actually understand what other blocks are. So here, uh, price came back, tapped into this uh, other block before moving down. So basically, just like I said, you need to see uh, Asian highs and lows being taken out. So this is where you actually need to start placing your trades. So if you take trades from this uh, area, your stop loss will basically be above this, uh, this other block, this five minutes time frame order block. And this will basically give you about eight pips stop loss. And you target uh, the next uh, lows, uh, considering uh, the higher time frame, let's say the one hour time frame. So we need to check out the next lows to consider as our take profit. Yeah. Oh. So looking at the next lows, we have our next lows to be this area. So if you had considered this area as you take profit, you would have actually gotten about um, a 1 to 7 risk to reward ratio. And that's actually um, 61 pips take profit and 8 pips uh, stop loss. So this is basically how you, you would use um, this Asian um, raise liquidity to, you know, get more specific entries in your trades. So I'll be making more videos on this probably in the future. So if you like this video, just remember to subscribe, you know, keep getting contests like this. So and don't forget uh, to drop uh, in the comment section any videos that you like us to, any topics that you like us to make videos on, just like I normally say. We are actually here to, you know, help out in any way we can. So see you on the next video.